You should never be sending to your whole email list. Instead, you should be sending to an engaged segment. My name is Sky. I'm an email marketing strategist and I do everything in my power to help you understand email marketing in a smart way where you can increase your sender reputation and get into the inbox. By sending to your whole email list can really hurt your sender reputation and we need to do anything in our power to keep that up. Our deliverability metrics like our unsubscribe, our spam and our bounce rate really need to stay low and our engagement metrics like your open and click rate, we need to keep them high. Today we're going to focus on your 90 day engaged segment, which is the most common engaged segment that most businesses send their campaign emails to. We are also going to create three other segments, which is your 30, 60 and 120 day engaged segment, just so that you can have them on hand that if you do want to expand out or minimize down your sends to a smaller or larger engaged segment, you have that ready to go. I use Klaviyo as my choice an email marketing platform, but this can be done on most advanced email marketing systems. So let's jump in. Okay. So now we're inside Klaviyo and I'm just going to be inside a client's account. So there will be a few things that are going to be blurred out on the left hand side here. You want to go to audience and then to your lists and your segments in the top right corner. We're going to go and create a new segment. Now go ahead and just name the segment and add any tags in that you like. I like to keep it quite simple in the way that I name things and as well as my tags. So let's start off with the definition. First, we need to start off with knowing that the subscriber is actually subscribed to the account. So if someone can receive email marketing and the person is subscribed, we're going to go ahead and click the and connector again. We're going to now select when someone has opened an email at least once in the last 90 days. Now, all of our conditions are going to have 90 days attached to it because this is what we are naming our segment. So it's important that the name of the segment matches is the amount of days on every single condition from here. With your opened email, it's important to filter out any Apple mail privacy protection opens. And these are classified as false opens because a computer has opened these, not the subscriber. So we're going to go ahead and add the filter. Apple privacy open equals false. Now with all of our other conditions, we're going to join everything with an or definition. They have clicked an email at least once in the last 90 days, or they have been active on site in the last 90 days, or they have placed an order or they have started checkout. And that's your engaged segment complete. Now it's important to understand that some of these conditions will overlap. So for example, if someone has clicked an email, we would have assumed that they've opened the email, right? And if someone has placed an order or started checkout that they have been active on site. But there are going to be times where tracking fails with your subscribers. So having these all connectors in place just to be sure that we're capturing all of our engaged subscribers. Now we're going to go ahead and create the segment in the top right corner. Now that we've completed our 90 day engaged segment, I want you to go ahead and repeat these steps for your 30, 60 and 120 day engaged segment. So you're simply going to go to your engaged segment and on the far right, you have the three dots there and you're going to clone your segment. You're going to continue this one, let's say for the 30 days and you just need to change all of the days on the or conditions to 30. Once you've completed that, you can clone the segment. Now we have cloned the segment three more times. We should have a 30, 60, a 90 day and 120 day engaged segments. As I said at the beginning of the video, it is very normal for a lot of e-commerce businesses to be sending to a 90 day engaged segment. But to work out exactly the right engaged segment for you, you can clearly just look at the amount of members that are inside your segments. You can see that engaged 30 days has 177 and then we take a massive leap up to 427 people. We then take a small little jump to 447 for the 90 day engaged and then our 120 gauge is 477. So you really want to be sitting in a happy medium. And it's very clear from these results here that our 90 day engage is a happy medium because it's sitting well between our 60 and 120 day engage. And you can see with the 30 day engaged, it drops down significantly to 177 people, which tells you that majority of your engagement is higher up around the 60 to 90 day mark. 
for some businesses, you could be seeing your engaged segments a little bit differently. If you're a more of a fast turning brand where you're selling more, bringing more new arrivals in, and you have a lot more going on in your business within let's say a 30 day timeframe, you might find that a 30 or a 60 day engaged segment works better for you. But it all comes down to looking at these numbers. So when I'm looking at this client, I can clearly see that the 90 day engaged segment is a happy medium for them. If I wanted to hone in and just really lift up my engagement, I could definitely drop it down to the 60 day engagement. Or if I was just testing the waters to see if I could bring more people into the engaged segment, I would push it out to the 120 day engaged segment. If you already have segments set up in your business or you've just given this a go, I'd be really keen to know exactly what your focus engaged segment is. Is it 30, 60, 90 or 120 days? Pop that in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.